Mishpaka. <clears throat> the sun is starting to rise. It's early. I'm in the woods. I was reading this morning and uh, Malachi, Malachi. Read the book of Malachi. It's a pretty good book. <clears throat> it's pretty much a rebuke to the priest. The priest had were giving <clears throat> sacrifices that weren't their best. He's rebuking the Levites, Israel, Judah, for their abominations for what they have done to um, not bring their best to Yah, not serve Him. And, I can kind of relate sometimes, you know, we, we go through phases, we go through stages in life and serving our Heavenly Father, <clears throat> we don't always give our best. Sometimes we get passive, uh, we get lazy, sometimes we just get tired and exhausted from arguing with people, you know, you're just trying to share the word with people and there's so much air out there because of English translations and Greek translations and Western understandings and mind concepts and stuff like that from the Western mind just doesn't really comprehend a lot of this stuff and <clears throat> growing up here in the West that's something we have to battle with right we have to overcome our thoughts I guess the way we <clears throat> Uh, deduce information that comes to us through the scriptures and ultimately the Holy Spirit <clears throat> guides us and leads us into all truth and um, but it's a process it's a, it's a refining he talks about that in Malachi Malachi that when the Messiah comes he will refine the priest as silver you know he will make pure uh, those who are seeking after the father and but really just like focusing on chapter 2 in Malachi, it talks about, you know, the priest bringing their offerings in and pretty much, you know, how they had rejected the Torah. They had rejected the commandments and ordinances and statutes and kind of went about to do their own way, their own thing. And um, and in chapter 3, he also says, I, I don't change. I haven't changed. You know, I, I gave these instructions. I gave these commandments for you for your benefit not because it's a burden not because he just needed you know <clears throat> to be satisfied with us you know doing works and this and that and, and really too just even reading further on you know about the um giving tithes and offerings forsaking the widows and the orphans you know <clears throat> how the people had just forsaken one another and debating one another and arguing and getting involved in politics and things that are carnal of this world and just getting distracted instead of focusing on the things that um, Yahuwah has commanded us. You know, he, he gave us these instructions that we're supposed to be a kingdom of priests and kings, a priestly and kingly nation, the Melchizedek, right? That's who we are supposed to be as a people to do righteous and to do just. And individually, I think, you know, we all fall. We all make mistakes. Um, as far as like this nation that I live in, in the United States, you know, we talk about freedom, this and that. But are we really free? I mean, you just look at the, um, just look at the monuments they put up. You know, these are the the things that it talks about in Hezekiah's day and all these things that ha had to be torn down. You just go into our Capitol and our Senate buildings and they've got their gods everywhere. Um, and even on our money and God we trust and it's, it's in greed we've trusted and we put our faith in and we've forsaken the orphans and the widows and those poor in spirit which is you know from a righteous standpoint we've got all these laws and um you know the governors and and the 
and the mayors and and the presidents and the senate you know these are these are the judges these are supposed to be the righteous people but they are you know <clears throat> implementing laws and stuff to openly murder children baby unborn children um you know they make laws to to make homosexuality rampant to make you know all these other detestable things in the eyes of our creator just legal like it's an okay thing and y'all spit his people out of the land for the the atrocities that we are committing and if we act like oh that can't happen to us we're a good holy righteous nation we're we're free um it's all bs because we're not we're enslaved in this system that keeps us from actually living our purpose you know to be out here in the nature to be out here in the woods to be out with the father to have the sun shining on our face you know it talks about that in Malachi that the sun shall rise in righteousness right and righteousness is, is right doing it's according to the commandments and don't get me wrong the Torah is milk you know that's should be our foundation but unfortunately we started off at the back of the book and have just completely misrepresented the Father, um, his scriptures. We've taken Paul's letters to, to mean something they don't mean. Um, just that it talks about that in Malachi as well. It's like they were calling evil good. Um, saying, oh yeah, well that doesn't matter. You know, it's by grace you're saved. Which is, a we are saved by grace, yes. And that's because his people had turned away from him. But he sent his messenger. He sent his Messiah to redeem us, to bring us back into covenant. And all of Scripture attests to that. You know, not just the Old Testament, New and even Paul's letters. The people twist them to their destruction. And this is why we are in the situation we are in in this country because you know this is the great melting pot the babylon where the nations come together and they congregate to do evil and we have not voted in righteous judges we have not voted in these people we've allowed evil to come into our society to um, govern us essentially and i think most people are exhausted they're tired, they're fearful, they're afraid. They impose laws and restrictions on us to keep us from, um, you know, even smiling. They put a mask on us. They make us, you know, it's for your protection. So we give up our freedoms for our security. And it's kind of like at what cost? And nothing new under the sun, right? This was going on in... In Israel's day and Judah's day and and the priests who are our you know our people that are in authority you know they've rejected Yah they've rejected the commandments they've taken them out of our schools they've watered down the word and made it of none effect you know for most people people are sick they're all, you know, you get older and you're on medication your whole life. And that's not Yah's desire for people. And they don't, people don't know why. They're like, oh, that's just the way it is, right? I get, I get old. I have to take these medications. I have to go to the doctor every week. And it's, well, maybe it's because of your diet. <clears throat> maybe it's because Yah gave us commandments. And, you know, we say that word commandments like it's, commanding you to do this it's instructions it's torah it's life right he says that in malachi he's like this this is this is life unto you you know if you eat this and you do that and you do this this is what's going to happen and if you don't the curse will be upon you you'll be cursed with sickness you'll be cursed with plagues and it's you know it's not the whole grace works this and that commandments and that's for the jews it's the creator he came up with this stuff. He knows what's good for us and he knows what's bad for us. And it's not to condemn us 
you know, it's not, it's to help us. He's like, I created this world for a specific purpose, for a specific reason, and you are here for a specific um, mission, right? And you can be passive and not study the word and just go about and say, this is the way things are. Evil just overtakes us. Uh, you can continue to be sick and take your pills and and wonder what's going on and say Jesus loves me and, and then die. Because that's what's happening to a lot of people is they continue to die. They continue to be sick. And they continue to struggle with these things. And they don't know why. And it's because the priests, the righteous people, the pastors, the Christian church has not taught us the scriptures accurately. They haven't. You know, I've... I've always been the question of questioning my whole life about this and that and I'm sure I'm still in darkness in a lot of categories and if I do research a lot I do spend a lot of time in the word but I think that's you know that's our life's goal is to to know the father and how can we say I have a personal relationship with the father or the son you don't even know his name you just call him Lord God hey God Nice to meet you. You know what? Get to know the Father. Research. What is his name? Is it Yahweh? Is it Yahweh? Is it Yahuwah? Is it Jehovah? You know, go through this fire. Learn these things. But be meek. Be humble. Be patient. Be kind. Learn. Ask questions. The best way to get answers is to ask questions. So if you are sick... If you are confused, you know, reach out to somebody. Seek help. You're not alone. There's people all over the place seeking the Father, trying to get knowledge and understand. And anyone who knows anything, that there's just been an explosion of biblical knowledge and lies and deception being exposed. And people want to say, well, it's the end times and this and that, maybe. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but... You know, seek the Father anyway. You know, let that sun of righteousness shine upon you. So that's my message for this morning. I just pray that you will seek the Father with a humble heart. Get to know Him. Get to know your neighbors. Get to know one another, your community. Get involved. Help people. Because that's where it's at. So, sure love you. Shalom. Bless your day.